Should you be obligated by law to take care of your parents once they turn 60? That's what's happening in Kenya. So yesterday there was a ruling by Justice Anthony Mrima saying that uh, children have a constitutional duty to take care of their elder, elderly parents. Now I have no problem with the judge. Uh, judges uh, normally issue rulings uh, based on prayers. So somebody must have applied, somebody must have filed that case uh, based on uh, far-reaching or wide-ranging concerns amongst perhaps the elderly people. We don't know what uh, drove them to file that lawsuit. Uh, I've, I've watched Justice Anthony Mrima and uh, his rulings have been very sober, very concise. I, I, I like him. And so, but at the end of the day, the reality of enforcing such a such a such an order is, uh, you know, because one cannot give what they what they don't have. So, if somebody is living in a one room apartment, then how do you take care of your uh, of your parents? The the thing is, uh, what did the parents do? How did we get here that uh, you're desperately going to court? Mm -hmm. to ask for court orders to be taken care of. Well, how did we get here? We got here because of your complacency, because of your naivety, because of your collective stupidity. All of you were there, you, and we were talking about this the other day. The thing with old, the older generation is you people don't like taking responsibility for your errors. You, you were there in a time of plenty. You guys were eh, leaving the reserve. You're leaving the up country you come to nairobi with just your id you are guaranteed a job once you get a job you're guaranteed loans access to loans and mortgages what did you do with that hmm? the things that you should have foreseen and mitigated you see we were talking about the poor electoral choices the other day and you everyone has been all up in my grill saying that francis you're being unfair to the older generation no no but they're stupid they are stupid and they can't be helped and the, so the only way now they can help us if they want us to take care of them in their old age, the only way they can help us, truly and truly I say unto you, the only way the older generation can help us is if you if you don't vote in the next elections. We don't want to hear your opinions. We don't want to hear your advice. We are tired of you people. You were uh, misled by the system. You are not even misled. You volunteered yourselves to be exploited by every successive regime. And elections for you became ju just another beauty contest where you're just going to rubber stamp anything that if it's a wave, it's what, and then you drag some of your children. Eh? And the children who listened to you are suffering because of listening to the older generation who have, um, can we call them mentally impotent? They've bequeathed us nothing other than crisis. They, they, and then they huddle to churches. Eh? And then in between their churches, their work is just gossiping, hmm? judging people from a moral high ground. They, they, they didn't create any opportunities for us. They've just been building churches here, left, right, and center. Who, who, who do they deserve? Do the people who have squandered our future, do they deserve to be taken care of? That's the question. I clearly, you, you, you absconded your duty. You did not even question because you are so subservient to the powers that be, to the political structure of the day. Hmm? When Moi, uh, together with a Bishop Dingy Monanzeki and all the uh, Julia Ojiambo and all the other idiots who came up with 844, including the founder of uh, Desta, you were more than willing to just follow suit. You didn't bother to you know, critique the system to, uh, can we say, analyze it and to poke holes into uh, the fact that they had they had expunged all co curricular activities and now you are just, we were just being drilled, not taught, you understand? So do they deserve, do these older generations, and then afterwards every election, every electoral cycle, they're just dragging young children into making more and more mistakes, digging their, uh, their holes deeper. Huh? So, and then you look at now, you're the, you the landlords. You're the landlords, your, your work is just increasing rent for no good reason. It's not that you've, uh, you've improved the house, it's not like you've painted it, it's not like you've done anything, but every year or every, every two years you have to increase rent because it's, it's supposed to be done. You, you understand? Look at now the legal system, the judiciary system. Who, lawyers are making a lot of money from what? They're making a lot of money from succession battles because even the least, like... If just leaving a will, just uh, you know, sh splitting your property, you you because you thought you live forever. Eh? You never thought a day you will come the way you'll need your children. So you eh? 
And then the ones who are there, they sell their property, they take everything to church. Why aren't churches being compelled? The churches which have benefited from the money of these same people, they have uh, most uh, the churches have taken more money than the families themselves. Why aren't the churches being compelled to take care of the elderly people? This is the we, we don't want young people to be used as cannon fodder in the war of attrition so that these guys have squandered their future they they have uh, embarked on poor political uh, choices they, and then now they want us to clean their mistakes look at them in their infinite stupidity what have they done they grabbed all the playgrounds all the green green spaces yeah they they, they oversaw a flawed electoral educational curriculum they, they 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 elect people poorly and then now they want us to clean their mess this is, this is the duplicity of this these idiots we call boomers, but boomers have not allowed us to live our lives. They, look at the, the, the new constitution while we celebrate it. It was just an avenue for them to create jobs for themselves. You see, so boomers, do you really deserve to be taken care of? If you want to be taken care of, and that's why I told the young people, you have to negotiate with your parents and grandparents and tell them it's in their best interest not to go and vote because we want to build a new future we want to chart a new destiny away from their stupidity away from their collective naivety hmm? we, we, and tell them there, there is a way you can eh, there's a uh, there's a carrot you can dangle to them because you tell them if you want me to take care of you first of all i have to consolidate my finances i cannot consolidate my finances when you are constantly voting for the current crop of despots who are you know who are always presenting themselves and me the first time i ever presented myself for elections it was the older generation who are undermining my candidacy uh, toxicity and they and they, they have also uh, can we say nurtured or bred a, a, an era a, a new era of idiots like themselves you understand so for for those ones to uh, for for us to chart a new future a new destiny this older generation have, has to be suppressed we are glorifying if you go to your churches today which are headed by boomers they are glorifying importers importers are the ones who are seated there contractors tenderpreneurs the guys who are building roads that are killing us they are the ones who are celebrated by those same boomers who want us to take care of them if you go and meet these stupid boomers and i meet them every other day you try and give them a proposal you try and tell them let's do this we can create opportunities we can create some money these idiots don't want to listen they start hmm? if, w w have you ever have you ever given a proposal pitched a proposal to an old bastard they start dozing off uh, but, but when you start gossiping they are all ears now these are the same useless bastards who want us to take care of them in their old age and we are saying no the, the only trade-off if you want to be taken care of is don't vote in 2027 we don't want to hear you expanding your um, third rate political opinions that's the only way <laughs> wow wow um that's a lot to digest and i would want to hear what you think about it in the comments so please um get to the comments um let me know what you think let me know what you think about what he just said, what Francis just said. And by the way, you can find Francis on TikTok um, and I think on X as well. Um, that will be it. That will be the end of this video. And I'm hoping to catch you on the next one. Please remember to subscribe and goodbye.